Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brian with the Wholesome Playbook and I am back with another quick video. Uh, I am actually going to show you how to pull the Zillow information and skip trace inside of a Podio uh, without needing the help of Globiflow. Now for the skip tracing, I mean this may be different for you based off the uh, skip tracing service that you use, but I figured out a way how to set this up on my end. Uh, based off of what I currently use. So I'm going to click over here to Globiflow uh, to show you here that there is nothing uh, inside of these flows uh, and they are completely empty. Uh, so jumping back over here, close this out to uh, Podio. Uh, so I'm actually going to start here in Zillow. Uh, so you will need to set up a, a Zillow ID for this. Um, and you can find that on Zillow's website, just you know, Google Zillow uh, ID, and then it should give you a link to where you can actually go and search that in here. So I'm just going to type in an address here, uh, so that way I can get this uh, started. So I'm just going to start with a uh, property that is here in my area, and uh, this property is for sale. So if uh, anybody uh, wants to go ahead and buy this one, uh, it's about $745,000. So, you know, if you're in the market for an almost $800,000 house, this may be the one for you. Uh, so now that I had all that typed in, as you can see, this information here is required. I'm just going to go ahead and save this property. And then as you can see, uh, it just pulls up NA for everything. Uh, so that as of right now, there's nothing there, but it, I do have this link here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and this is going to open up um this uh get search results for zillow so from here i am just going to uh, copy all this here in this page and bring that information back here into my zillow paste and what this is going to do is it's actually going to go through read all of this information here and then pull it back into here so that way it shows me all of this home's details so let me click off of here, let this do its thing here for a second. And as you can see, almost instantly it brings up the information. So I have the uh, Zillow home details. So this is the actual link to the Zillow property. And I'll go ahead and show you that in a second. Um, the comps, uh, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, uh, the lot size, uh, the type of property is a single family home, what year it was built. Um, the assessment year and the assessment value. So I'll click this link here. This will then bring me to the Zillow page. So you can actually see this property. Uh, and then if I come back here and then click on the comps, this is the comps inside of Zillow, uh, showing you what uh, recent sales for, were for, uh, in that area. So uh, next up, I'll be showing you guys, uh, based off of the uh, skip tracing service that I use, how to pull uh, the owner's information using uh, that skip trace. All right, guys, we are back with the uh, skip tracing part of this video. Um, to do this here, you are going to need to make sure that uh, the skip tracing company that you use has an API to get it set up. Now, the back end of this is really super techy, so I don't want to kind of show you guys here because I'm still working on getting some stuff set up uh, to use in my business. But uh, So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm just going to click Add Skip Trace, and uh, just like in the uh, Zillow part of the video, uh, there are required fields to go ahead and get this started. Uh, so that way everything will run correctly. So I'm just going to fill this out here real quick. And then once you have that basic information uh, filled out, you're just going to go ahead and say the skip trace. And then once you do that, you're going to have to refresh the screen so that way it'll uh, bring up the, uh, the link down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that link. And from there, just like in that Zillow, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy all of this information here into my uh, skip trace paste. Click to the side there. And then as you can see here, it brings back that phone number. 
and it brings back what type of phone line it is. So in this case, this one's a mobile phone. Uh, and the part I am working on now is uh, on this particular file, it does have other phone numbers and I'm working on getting those to be brought in as well. So this was a quick video. Uh, if you liked what you saw here, please subscribe uh, and click the like button. And I will see you guys here in the next video. Peace.